finding the thieves. First at six, police are investigating a slew of smash and grab incidents that plague Northeast Arkansas over the weekend. Nationwide, these types of crimes are up almost 52% overall, resulting in thousands of dollars in damage and lost merchandise. Thank you for joining us. I'm Diana Davis. Several locations here in Northeast Arkansas were hit this weekend alone. Jace Passmore has been talking with one at one of those locations, the Sissy's Log Cabin in Jones. Brony joins us live from there now. Jace, what do we know so far in this series of events and has anyone been caught yet? Yeah, hey, Diana, there was one arrest in Paragold that was linked to one of the pawn shop uh, burglaries there. But over the past hour or so, according to Paragold Police, 15 guns and even some jewelry were recovered. And some of that has been linked back to Jonesboro. Sissy's Log Cabin was one of the spots uh, that was hit by the thieves as they tried to enter the front door. They failed, so they tried to enter in through a window in which set off some alarms and alerted the police and also the managers of the store. But nevertheless, since Sissy's Log Cabin wasn't hit. Some of the other stores were, and the, and the thieves escaped with thousands of dollars in merchandise. Uh, there's usually, you know, four to five uh, people, and they'll come in, smash it, grab as much as they can, and then jet out the door. Smash and grabs, a crime that costs jewelry stores thousands of dollars. At around 5.05 Sunday morning, two men armed with a crowbar attempted to break down the front door at Sissy's Log Cabin. After not being able to get in, they started smashing a window, sounding alarms that sent police officers rushing to the scene. And when they hit the windows, um, made alarms go off, which um, that uh, a big siren goes off outside. Sissy's has ramped up security after the attempted break in. After talking to other diamond brokers in Jonesboro, some have hired security companies or asked for some extra patrol. We have security here. Uh, we're in the middle of town, so we've got, you know, police officers that, you know, come around, circle around when we're not here. Uh, we make sure everything's locked up. Jonesboro is not the only city targeted on Sunday morning. Burglars also broke into SDM Pond in Paragold. Now both departments are working together to try and connect the dots. Detectives and they're actually collaborating a little bit with Jonesboro to see if there might be some tie-ins with that. But right now we, we don't know for sure. Although no one was hurt physically during any of the incidents, pawn shop owners and local jewelers will take a hit in the pocketbooks. Smaller shops, they take a hard hit on that. You know, they don't recover quite as well as the big chains do uh, as far as the return from the insurance, what have you. So uh, it hurts them pretty bad in their, or pretty hard in their pocketbooks. Now, I did speak with one shop owner that said insurance claims have been filed, but even with that, the store could still be left in a tough spot. Now, this is still a developing story, so we'll keep you updated on the K8 News app. For now, live in Jonesboro, Jace Passmore, K8 News. Jace, thank you for that.